Hi everyone, my name is Paulina and in this video I will show you how to make a shooter game on scratch. The hero must shoot back from the zombies that are coming towards him from different directions. The task is to hold out as long as possible and not to die. First, let's create a hero sprite. We have a view from above, the head and a part of the weapon. It's important to draw the weapon strictly to the right. I draw sprites very prettily. I'm sure you can do better. The hero will turn towards the mouse pointer. Now let's add the ability to walk by WASD keys. Changing these numbers to increase or decrease speed. Going up, if you press S, you go in. Now let's add bullet sprite and just draw a simple rectangle. The bullet should fly from the weapon, so let's create the script on the green flag clicked behind. We need condition if we press spacebar. Then bullet should go to the hero. Go to hero. Then turn in the hero's direction. We need this point in direction and instead of number we need this block instead of stage choose hero and here find direction direction of hero let's try yeah you see let's move some steps somewhere here i think let's try 40 Let's see how it looks great. And then show. And then fly until touch an edge. Repeat until touch an edge. Move. For example, 10 steps. Also, if you put bigger number it will be faster and if it's less it will be slower and after this after touching right let's try yeah great it's working but it's not a, like automatic weapon so we need some automatic cue that's why we need more bullet then just this one so we will create clones so when we press gate space we will create clones every then just less than 0 0.2 second and clone will do our script of the bullet but instead of hide Need bullet clone. Let's try. You see, I have a lot of automatic cue. Great. 
Now let's add some paste. So we need a lot of zombies, so let's create clones right away. When the green flag click, river, create clone myself, let's every second. Alright, but where they should appear? We have four sides of our screen and we want them to appear randomly. So let's see, for example, this side. I show you a special backdrop. Uh, where is it? Mm, yeah, this one. So here, x coordinate is fixed, mi minus 240, and y should be random from here to here, from up and down, from minus 180 to 180. So let's create this block. Go to minus 240 and why it's random. Pick random from minus 280. Great, it's this left side. Let's look at right side. It's almost the same, so I duplicate, but here y random is the same range and x is 240 let's create block for up here we have y is fixed 180 and x is pick random from minus one, uh, 240 to 240 and i think you already guess is the same but down one somewhere here great each clone before appear so when it starts the second game should choose one of these directions so we need again a random we create a variable let's just call it um and it will be random oh. Okay, then be random and uh, when I set them be random to pick random from 1 to 4 and now we create a condition if else so first if then be random is 1 on the left side then if the brand to second variant and one again three be careful here and else only fourth variant two three four Great. Zombies appear in different sides. Cool, but our sprite should hide here and show after this when we start the second. Let's see. Wait, I uh, switch back to the empty one. Okay, great. After this, zombies should go to hero until touching bullet or until touching hero. So we need repeat until touching hero or touching bullet. Then mm, point towards here and move that's one step very slow let's jump and you see when they move they follows me follow me ah. 
Okay, let's try to kill them. Okay, you see, they didn't disappear because we don't add block here. After this, we, we need to do it. Let's try again. Press space. Great. It's hard. And the last thing for today, we let's add health points for the hero. We go to variables, health point, and when we start the game, set health point to three. And let's add conditions so when we touch. When here touch the zombies, we need to change this one point. All right, and after, and if our first points. Less than one means zero and less. We need to stop all the game. In here, you can add some change on it by drop some music, sounds, everything you want to make the game more beautiful and interactive. But I'm just showing you the script. If you need some help with this change on backdrop. Write in the comments and I will record for you additional video with explanation. But I'm sure you can do this. And great! Let's try. Let's try to play. Let's check. Yeah. Great, it's done. Um, how to win? I think there are several options. Either count the number of zombies killed and make a variable record to know who killed more, or you can add a timer and see by time who lasted the longest. Which option do you like better? You can do it on your own, or if you need help, write in the comments and I will record a special video for you. And that's it for now. Thank you for watching this video. I hope it was useful and interesting for you. Press the bell button and don't miss the next tutorials. See you! Bye!